Uh, the big four of don'ts is, first of all, leave the lectins. Um, I guess I got famous by telling people to avoid lectin-containing foods. And briefly, lectins are plant proteins that are one of the best ways to cause leaky gut ever devised. And they're present in whole grains. They're present in non-pressure cooked beans and legumes. They're present in peanuts and cashews. They're present in the nightshade family like tomatoes and regular potatoes and bell peppers, for instance. So leave the lectins. Number, number seven, stop the sugar already. Um, we. <laughs> I mean, we are just overloaded with sugar and it's incredibly well hidden as I show in the book. Whenever you're looking at a label on a package, uh, do not look where it says sugar because it's a lie. The labeling laws were changed to hide the sugar. Read total carbohydrates minus the fiber and then that will actually tell you the amount of sugar in that product. And when you start doing that, it will scare you to death. Uh, and just a fun fact, there's four grams of carbohydrates in a teaspoon of sugar. So take that total carbohydrates, divide it by four, and you'll see how many teaspoons of sugar you're actually eating. And it's actually shocking. Uh, yeah. So uh, I like to use protein early in people's diets because protein is very um, energy sucking in terms of uh, you have to, you lose about 30% of all the calories and protein in the process of digestion. But these ultra high protein diets, and I'm talking about the carnivore diet, which is just Adkins reinvented. I mean, come on. Uh, these actually starve your gut buddies for the fiber that they need. And so many of the popular keto diets are doing the exactly the same thing. All this high fat and no fiber is, is a disaster uh, waiting to happen because you literally starve the guys that are really going to keep you in great health. And finally, don't eat Franken foods with Franken fats. Uh, even though trans fats are legally banned in the United States, there was a loophole. They don't have to be declared in institutional foodstuffs. So if you're running a restaurant, if you're um, having a school lunch program, you don't have to list trans fats on the label. They're legal. Plus, the second loophole is if you have less than a half a gram of trans fat per serving, you don't have to put it on the label. And this is how trans fats are still sneaking into us. And finally, Franken foods, about 70% of a typical American diet is now ultra processed food. And we've broken down proteins, carbohydrates, and fats into quickly absorbed molecules that hit our mitochondria simultaneously like rush hour in LA and our mitochondria grind to a stop in terms of making energy. And it's one of the big reasons everybody's so tired right now. 